What's going on guys, GSMASSY here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to a new transfer video on my channel. Got confirmed us to go through today as well as the potential rumours or the rumours shall I say and I've had a few people ask me when are the day transfer videos going to be returning and I'm going to say from now as of today the 16th of May they're going to be uploaded every day at 8am UK time. So very quickly before we get started, if you could show your support by leaving a like rating for transfer videos, that'd be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more, press the bell notification next to it so you get a notification every day uh, to show the video goes live. And today's question of the day for the comment section below, who's going to win the Champions League final, Liverpool or Tottenham? Right then, let's jump into the actual transfers themselves. And first up, we've got a Hazard leaving Chelsea, but it's not Eden Hazard just yet, if at all. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that front. But this is, I believe it's his brother, Killian Hazard. He joined Belgian side at Circle of Bruges from Chelsea for an undisclosed fee. Danny Welbeck is officially leaving Arsenal on a free transfer at the end of this season. They decide not to offer him a new deal, and it'll be a free transfer looking for a new club in just about a month or so time. Next up, we go on to Carlson Mercato, and they're saying the Juventus are willing to let Paolo Dybala leave the club this summer. It's for a fee of around 100 million euros or 85 million pounds. Manchester United are poised to sweep for the Argentine, but Bayern Munich are also keeping a close eye on this situation. And as for that transfer, obviously of United missing out on top four and being in the Europa League for next season, it could be a massive stumbling block. They will still be able to attract big names because they are still Manchester United, one of the biggest clubs in world football. But for players that want to play Champions League football again, it could stop them joining the club this summer. And next up, according to Sky Sports, they're saying Jose Mourinho has been offered a managerial job at Celtic and he could be tempted if he doesn't get any other offers. But according to L'Equipe in France, they're saying Mourinho would be keen to take over the managerial role instead at Paris Saint Germain, also tempted by Roma. Corio Dello Sport are saying PSV Eindhoven forward Herbin Lozano has agreed to join Napoli in a 14 million euro deal or 34 million pounds. There was interest there from Manchester United and a few other clubs on top of there, but as of right now, the Italian club are definitely favourites. Next up, a confirmed deal is going to be Frank Ribery. It was like a somewhat known for a fair amount of time now, a couple of months, but Bayern confirmed a couple of days ago he will be leaving this summer and be looking for a new club, just like his fellow player Iron Robin. And a player that could be going to Atletico Madrid up next, according to AS, is Man City's Nicolas Otamendi. They said Atletico Madrid have made contact about the Argentine, and as for a fee, nothing is mentioned just yet, but it could be there because Godin will be a free transfer and going to Inter Milan. The Sunday Express are saying Barca are planning a £70 million summer move for Arsenal striker Alexandre Lacazette. Um, for Arsenal, they will be in the Europa League next season unless they win the Europa League this year. And uh, just like I mentioned with United before, they've got to like get in the Champions League to attract big names or um, like kind of make the big moves. So for Arsenal losing out on a player like Lacazette, it could be possible. And now according to the Birmingham Mail, they're saying AC Milan forward Andre Silva is a subject of interest from Wolves. The Molyneux outfit won the 23-year-old to add to the squad's core Portuguese contingent at the end of the season. He's currently on loan to Sevilla and there was interest there from Wolves one year ago. A very short one according to Northern Echo is that Napoli are interested in assigning Newcastle forward Iosi Perez. He's coming to some very good form as of late, so the interest there from top European teams is definitely not too surprising. France football are suggesting that Arsenal have held talks to sign Nicola Pepe from Lille this summer, but it's likely to be too expensive for them because their reported summer transfer budget is just 30 to 40 million euros. Now, 30 to 40 mil in this current market really isn't enough to sustain a proper title push or to get in top four to improve on what they've currently got because their defense, it's, a, it's an absolute mess to say the best kind of thing about it. But France Football also report that more realistic targets for Arsenal will be Ryan Fraser from Bournemouth and David Neres from Ajax. But again, for Neres, there's likes of Tottenham also looking at him. Bayer Leverkusen have completed the transfer of Demo Bay from fellow Bundesliga side Hoffenheim. They activated his release clause around 28 million euros, though some sites are suggesting up to 30, and he signed a five-year deal. 
He is a great footballer, and according to Build at least, they're saying Borussia Dortmund sport and director Mike, Michael Zork or Mitchell Zork, for which I say his name wrong there, he has had a recent meeting with Julian Brandt's father regarding a potential summer transfer of the German international. So right now, it looks like Dortmund will buy Julian Brandt and also Thorgan Hazard for roughly the same price as sold Christian Pulisic to Chelsea for. Thorgan Hazard admitted a couple days ago he'll be joining Borussia Dortmund or has some kind of agreement with them. Um, but as for Demo Bay, he could be replacing Julian Brandt at Leverkusen. And next up, according to TMW, they're saying Manchester United are ready to offer £42 million of Matteo Damian to Juventus for Joao Cancelo. The Portuguese right back only moved to Turin in the summer of 2018, but could find himself heading to Old Trafford after just 12 months in Italy. Now the article says 12 months in Italy, but I'm pretty sure he's playing for Inter Milan the season before that, so 24 months total. And for FIFA Ultimate Team purposes, that could be very good. Darmian has been linked to Juventus and Napoli previously, and as for United losing um, Antonio Valencia, they might have to bring a new right back in. And next up, according to Lekeep, another United rumour is that United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer stepped up his £43 million rated pursuit of Leon striker Moussa Dembele. James Rodriguez has emerged as a transfer target for Serie A side Napoli, according to AS. The Colombian playmaker is approaching the end of a two-year loan spell at Bayern and is not expected to make the move a permanent basis. And as for Real Madrid, he's not really a favourite or Zindi Zidane, so pro look to sell him. And Marcus' input is basically the Real Madrid want to sell him, Premier League clubs are interested alongside Napoli and Serie A sides, and the fee that he'd be allowed to leave for is around £40 million. And next up, according to uh, pretty much every single outlet now, they're saying Atletico Madrid defender Godin will become Inter's highest paid player when he joins the club on a free deal. The Uruguayan will earn 6.75 million euros per year at the San Siro, with a pre-contract agreement already in place. The Express are saying Real Madrid are considering a bid for Chelsea's N'Golo Kante, with the European champions reportedly complying a dossier on the French World Cup winner. Zindi Zidane is eager to lure Kante's teammates Eden Hazard to the Bernabeu as well as Manchester United's Paul Pogba, but could turn to Kante if a deal for the Old Trafford star can't be reached. Now, Pogba might force a move, we'll have to wait and see, but the price United apparently want for him is £160 million. And if I remember correctly, last summer, Real Madrid didn't really spend too much money. I know they bought in Vinicius Jr. for like £40 million or £50 mil, uh, euros, should I say. But other than that, they sold Cristiano Ronaldo, I can't think of many other players coming in, maybe aside from Mariano. They have technically spent 90 million euros already for this upcoming summer window because they've brought in Eden Militao from Porto for 50 million euros and at Rodrigo from Santos. But next up, according to Demarzio and Sky Sports News, Manchester City are in vast talk to sign Bruno Fernandes from Sporting. Sporting have accepted a 55 million euro bid from City and ready to accept an offer or a contract until 2024. The 24-year-old has scored 31 goals for the Portuguese side this season, whilst also providing 17 assists from a central attacker midfield role. And another player into City today from Portugal, according to Sky Sports again, is going to Joao Felix. They said Man City are interested in signing Benfica's 19-year-old attacking midfielder, Joao Felix. He's considered one of the best talents right now in world football, it's understandable why. He has got a very high release clause of 100 million euros plus, but for that, he probably won't go for close to it, maybe like 60, 70, because he's still very young, but so much talent. And very quickly going back to Bruno Fernandes, a reporter for BBC Sport came out and said that Man City are not interested in signing him and club have never spoken to Sporting about it. So the deal, it might happen, but according to some particular journalist, it will not. And even the Daily Mail, they're saying the same thing now. It's not happening and they're looking elsewhere. And now we've got Felipe Coutinho, and this one's according to ESPN FC, and it somewhat ties into a transfer that features later on the episode. But they are saying Coutinho will be the first casualty at Barca after they lost to Liverpool in the Champions League. With the Spanish club happy to listen to offers for the Brazilian, and the board will also meet with the manager Valverde to decide his fate. France Football are suggesting that Real Madrid is set to make a world record £240 million offer to Paris Saint-Germain for 20-year-old forward Kylian Mbappe. It's not the first time he's been linked to the Spanish side, however, for this upcoming window, I'd be quite surprised to see him move on. 
Gianluca Damasio suggesting that both Inter and Juventus have met with Alexis Sanchez's agent to discuss the Chilean situation. Negotiations have not yet started though because of Alexis Sanchez's 12 million euros a season after tax salary demands. A short one according to Sport is that Barca are expected to accept Tottenham's 30 million euro offer for Andre Gomez. Of course, he's done very well for Everton so far this season or the whole of last season, and that prompted interest from Spurs. A lot of different sources are saying Manchester United are close to agreeing a deal to sign Swansea City's Daniel James as a £15 million deal if it goes through. And now we've got some confirmed deals. And first up is Yaya Toure. He came out of football, I think, for a little bit of time. He went back to Olympiacos after leaving Man City and he left him after like five games. But since then, hasn't got a new club and it seems now he has officially retired. Ander Herrera has confirmed that he'll be leaving Manchester United and he will be a free transfer this summer and the expected team will be going to is it going to Paris Saint-Germain. Staffelidis has joined Hoffenheim from Augsburg also in the Bundesliga as a free deal. Vieto has joined Sporting in Portugal from Atletico Madrid as a 7.5 million euro fee. And next up we have got Jelson Martins who currently is actually on loan to AS Monaco in Ligue 1 and Atletico Madrid have finally agreed a fee with Sporting nearly a year after he moved to them initially on a free transfer. They're having to pay 22.5 million euros and it's probably likely he'll be sold this summer on a permanent. Build are suggesting that Borussia Dortmund have agreed to sign Nico Schultz or Schultz, I'm not sure how you say his name, sorry about that, for 25 million euros. He'll sign a four-year contract with the club and a transfer will be announced after the final match day of the season. An end of an era is going to be De Rossi leaving Roma. He's announced that after 18 years at the club, he'll be moving on. And as for his next team, he hasn't announced it just yet, but we'll have to wait and see. I'd imagine it could be someone like the MLS potentially. BBC Sports' David Ornstein, or Ornstein has said Jadon Sancho is reportedly 50-50 on joining Manchester United from Borussia Dortmund. He also mentions that PSG manager Thomas Tuchel is interested in acquiring Roberto Firmino from Liverpool, but the English side won't even entertain talks. The Daily Record are suggesting that Bayern have opened discussions with Manchester City over the potential summer transfer of 23-year-old German international Leroy Sané. Sky Sports understand that Leicester City are pushing for a quick deal with Monaco to permanently sign at Yuri Tielemann. And there's likes of Spurs and Manchester United preparing bids, and it could cost around 40 mil. He had a very, very successful loan spell under Brennan Rodgers' side, as it's understandable why they want to make it a permanent deal. And next up, according to pretty much every outlet, West Ham defender Reese Oxford looks set to join Bundesliga club Augsburg on a permanent transfer after officials agreed a fee of £3 million. And the next two are going to be players leaving Atletico Madrid. One is actually certain, the other one is just a rumour as of right now. But Atletico this summer, they've already sold Hernandez to buy in for like 80 mil. They have uh, got rid of or uh, lost, uh, say, Godin on a free transfer and Juan Fran. But media set are saying a club will activate the release cause of Atletico Madrid midfielder Rodri. His destination will be either Bayern, Barca or Man City. And now we've got the huge news from Tuesday night and it's all official via a club statement and that's going to be Anton Griezmann telling Atletico Madrid he'll not continue at the club for next season. And pretty much every single outlet this one I'm going with in particular is going to be Fabrizio Romano. He's saying Barca are now ready to pay Anton Griezmann's 125 million euro release clause. Personal terms are still ongoing with the player about a five-year contract, but he's definitely leaving to Barca, we'll have to wait and see, but it looks the most likely destination. And as for Barca, they could be selling Coutinho to Paris Saint-Germain, and they'll get like a decent fee out of him, like I mentioned earlier on the episode, and Griezmann could be replacing him. And the final one of the episode is going to be about Barca's rivals Real Madrid. The key part saying that Real Madrid will announce the purchase of Eden Hazard from Chelsea for a fee of around 100 million euros, after the Europa League final. The deal has been agreed across all parties for several weeks now, and Hazard said a couple weeks ago he let the club know about his decision, so it looks like his players last game for Chelsea or will do in the Europa League final against Arsenal. But that guys is going to be it for this video. So as always, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box, and on your screen will be the question of the day. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.